Hi, and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat. I'm sorry if I'm yelling. I'm excited. So I wasn't gonna make a video today, but I wanted to finally give you guys at least a review. Oh, look, a piece of carrot. Thank you, Hudson. My dog loves carrots. He thinks he's a moose. Just don't ask any questions. Um, I wanted to give you guys a little review, and I'm also gonna show you my Monsters, Inc. stuff that came today. This is Sully and Mike Wazowski. Um, Mike Wazowski, when they first came out with Monsters, Inc. a long time ago, I was like, Mike Wazowski, Mike Wazowski, Mike Wazowski. I used to follow my dad so and say that to him because his name was Mike, but it wasn't Wazowski. So, since I'm rambling, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to give you my thoughts on the Friends Bar. There's been a whole lot of hooey about this bar on in the YouTube Sensi world, I guess you would put it. I, I do watch review other people's reviews. Um, there's only one person that has that I've seen so far that has the same thoughts as me and I love this. I love this. Um, most people don't. They think it smells like, you know, a lot of coconut oil. Some people think it smells like burnt coffee or old coffee. There's not a lot of coffee in this and it, it smells to me like coconut coffee from OGX. And I'm trying to think of a way of the best, that is the best description that I have. To me, it's like, it smells exactly like that or the caffeine, um, coconut caffeine shampoo. My sister Lisa would probably fall in love with this one. Um, the notes that they have. I don't, I don't really feel it's accurate. I'm thinking if this sits for a while, it might get stronger. Um, double espresso, freshly brewed coffee, and coconut cream. Okay, so here's my theory and my thoughts. Um, there's, on Pinterest, you can find stuff that says, it turns out I don't like coffee, I just love creamer. And there's been a lot of, like, on TikTok, where girls will put a ridiculous amount of creamer into their coffee where you can't even taste the coffee. And I think that's where Scentsy was going with this. Um, I've never smelled one like this from Scentsy. I've smelled coconut from Scentsy, but not like this one. It's definitely got like a coconut cream in it. And when it's warming, the longer it warms, the closer you get to that coffee scent. But it makes me think of those younger people that weren't around, that were probably born after Friends came out, that have been drinking coffee with a shit ton of creamer in it. But I really love this. It smells really good. It doesn't, it isn't overly coffee to me. And a lot of people feel that they failed with it. And now a lot of people hate this bar. Well, I love it. And I told my husband and he said, well, why do you care what other people think? I said, I'm just watching reviews and nobody seems to like this bar. The only other person on YouTube I have seen that likes this bar is Metallica Mom. And I actually, I love her, her channel. And I, you know, I'm not affiliated with her at all. She probably doesn't even know who the hell I am. But go to her channel and watch some of her Sensi videos. She just, she's the best. Um, sometimes in the evening, I binge watch her videos. And my husband actually, um, he, he likes her. He thinks she's like so hilarious. And he's like... Is she going to nursing school? Because she mentioned school and I was like, I, I don't know. And he was like, I want her to be my nurse someday. She'd be fun. So <laughs> I'm just like, okay. I think he has a secret crush on her now. Um, but yes, this didn't live up to what everyone was expecting. They were expecting an actual coffee scent. And this seems like it would be an actual coffee scent. But there's a lot of coconut cream going on. I really like it. Um, I drink... You know black coffee with a little bit of half and half most of the time so i would have loved to see you know a lot more coffee in this but i do love 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 this bar it's in my sensi club two of them are and you know what if it goes into clearance uh, more for me so <laughs> that's what we're gonna say about that one my phone's going off sorry about that um i did want to show you guys i know i'm umming again the Dream Big Princess Bar. This one came out and it's out right now. I believe the Princess Collection and the Friends Collection are going away August 31st. So I am going to post this probably either tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, 
The notes are bright lemon, dazzling orange, and wet vanilla. Someone said something about bubble gum, and I didn't remember reading that in the notes when I copied them. It's possible I wasn't paying attention, so I'm sorry. I can smell like a bubble gum type of something in there, but I do have another bar of this. I bought two of them, and this is extremely light, actually. I might post this tonight. We'll see. I'm thinking about it now. But yeah, this is extremely light. I couldn't really smell it until the end of the day and I had it warming the entire day in my office. I had it in my friend's warmer and I had it in a warmer that I have on my desk. And I am gonna show you guys a picture of the warmer that I just put on my desk because it is Mike Wazowski. And the last one that I wanted to show you. So this one, <laughs> I have it in my Scentsy Club, but I don't know, I might keep it there because Sita might like it. So we'll, we'll see. I'm going to have her warm some in her room and see if it's something that she wants me to keep getting. We have the Pixar uh, Monsters, Inc. Monstropolis. And I really like this. This is actually a really nice fragrance. The notes are Mandarin, Watermelon, Pineapple, and Lush Palm. Uh, it's only been going for a few hours in the warmer on my desk, in the warmer I put in the living room. It kind of makes me think of nerds a little bit, the purple nerds. I'm like taking it, I went like this so I could smell it a little bit better. But I think it smells good. And it's it's funny because it makes me think of candy. It's like man, the mandarin, the watermelon, and the pineapple are the most, it's not a super powerhouse, but it's maybe a medium throw. Um, really nice. I'm not really picking up on the lush palms very much. I did not take an allergy pill today. That could be why. <laughs> but I'm liking this. I'm really adoring it. So, uh, Sita, I got the warmer for her. One of my lights always goes out for some reason. I got the warmer for her, but then she this morning she said she didn't want it, but I don't think she realized what I was talking about. I think she's talking about the little warmer. But really quick, I'm going to show you the warmers that I got. Hudson is staring at me through the door. And then I'm going to try to edit this video. So I don't know if this is the best angle, but I really need to dust the back of my desk. This is a Mike Wazowski. It is a plug-in warmer that you can put in your wall, like in your bathroom, a small one. It's a mini warmer. And I'm warming Monstropolis right now. But this, um, I also have a crowded desk because I have three monitors, two keyboards, and a laptop on here. Uh, <laughs> don't ask. But... This is what this guy looks like. You guys want to see something funny? I couldn't find my chapstick earlier. I left it out here. <laughs> this is the warmer from Monsters, Inc. There's Sully coming out of the door. And hopefully it's not too dusty back here. You can see where the cat got something right there. That's what the side of it looks like. Isn't that so cute? And the little lamp lights up. And I just... It's so adorable. I got it for Sita because when I told her about this, she goes, oh, I want the warmer. And I said, no, I'm not going to get the warmer this time. And then later, I was go before I ordered it, I was like, you know what? I'll get her the warmer because she would like stuff that has a little bit of light. And you guys can't see it, but there's actually iridescent behind him. You could probably see the reflection on the, gr on the table. Um, this is a rock table made by my husband's grandpa. So this is a one of a kind. We also have another one of a kind that our TV sits on. But I wanted to show this to you guys. And then in the flash sale, I got Stitch. And that's an Elvis gnome I got at Hobby Lobby. Uh, the gnome, I had collected a bunch of these and put them on here facing my husband because he always sits in a chair that's next to this, but he didn't even notice <laughs> that he had like five gnomes staring at him. Um, this is not a Scentsy Warmer that Elvis Snow is not. It is just a figurine from Hobby Lobby, but I thought it was hilarious. And then I was going to move it, but then I was going, if I leave Stitch here, he's not turned on, by the way. Stitch is turned off. And I leave Elvis. Well, you know, he lo they love the Elvis songs in there. But that is a Monstropolis Warmer. So I want to show you guys all those things at the same time. Hopefully this is better than whatever kind of excitement I had going on with the um, <laughs> Friends Warmer with that video. But I don't know if you could see. 
Yeah, it's so iridescent. You can kind of see some of the iridescent going on here. But that's really, really pretty, and hopefully it'll look really pretty at night. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!